Hello, welcome back to Queen Affiliates channel. I'm going to do a video on Tori Hart. This is not a video to bash Tori Hart in any way, shape, or form, but this is more like a video to say that I completely and totally sympathize with Tori Hart. Um, my word of advice to Tori is stop doing too much. See, I follow Tori Hart on Instagram, and she's always posting these photos of herself pretending to be happy. And she always has her legs showing, her butt showing, a tight dress on, her breast showing, and all this other stuff. And I know why she's doing it. And let me just give her a word of advice. Tori, if you're listening to this video, you don't have to try to compete with a Nico. See, this is what's going on. This is what's going on. I want everyone to understand. See, Tori Hart, she was married to Kevin um, Hart um, from 2003 to 2011 so that's about eight years Tori helped propel his career um, she was the one working when Kevin was this struggling comedian and things like that they have two kids together boy and girl Kevin and Hendrix when you have kids with someone and when you've been married to them that long you just do not get over emotions that quick he cheated on her and things like that and the um, wife he's currently with she was one of the people that um, um, was, I guess, the homewrecker in their relationship. Now, according to Tori, Tori said that Aniko was cheating with uh, Kevin while they were still married. And Aniko says that she was not. I'm here to say, Aniko, you a damn lie. We all know that you was cheating with Kevin Hart while he was still married to Tori. But that's neither here or there. This video is really for Tori. See, I can tell when someone's pretending to be happy, and I follow you on Instagram. I can tell when someone has been in a relationship and they've been hurt, so now they have to try to do things to make themselves appear extra happy. They have to do things to put themselves out there. They have to do things to make it seem like I'm over him, I'm living my life, he's not bothering me, and things like that. And see, when you start doing things like that, it's actually saying the opposite. It's actually saying what he did fuck me up see we all know Tori that Kevin messed you over we know that we know you was there for him we know he cheated on you we know he hurt you we know um, he broke your heart and then after he did all of that then he became this very very successful comedian and he's now worth a hundred and thirty million dollars the highest paid comedian in the world he's passed Dave Chappelle and now you're sitting up there looking at that like man I helped propel this man's career and in the end I get nothing and now he's with this woman who's uh, uh, prettier she's uh, light-skinned um, and all this other stuff and I know you feel bad I know you're sitting up there looking at that like damn what did I do to deserve this and I'm gonna sit here and tell you Tori you didn't do anything to deserve this see that's all Kevin that's all Kevin 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 see men like Kevin they're serial cheaters and you put women like Tori in this position where she feels she has to be out here to compete. She has to be out here to let the whole world know, hey, I still look good. See, look at my legs. Look at my ass. Look at my titties. Why would Kevin cheat on this? We all know it don't matter how beautiful you are. You can ask Halle Berry. You can ask Amber Rose and a whole host of other women. It doesn't matter how you look. Sandra, um, B uh, Sandra Bullock got cheated on as well. It doesn't matter how you look. These men are just going to cheat if that's what they're going to do. Look at Tiger Woods' wife. She was a beautiful woman. He cheated on her with so many women. It's ridiculous. So, Tori, this ain't about you. This is about Kevin and his cheating ways. And see, Aniko's going to stay with him. And the reason why she's staying with him is because of that paycheck. See, your paycheck will make you women do a whole bunch of putting up with a whole bunch of other crap. A lot of y'all in, in, um, in these relationships with these celebrity men, you know damn well these men are cheating on you. But you're hanging around for a paycheck. And see, a paycheck is not worth your sanity. A paycheck isn't worth your peace of mind. A paycheck isn't worth you laying in a big-ass house in a really, really soft, king-sized bed, wondering where your man is at and who he's having sex with and what video is going to come out next week to embarrass you see when kevin um that video came out of kevin cheating i know aniko was embarrassed all the hell but she had to play it off and then they did that little video on instagram where they were dancing together trying to do some damage control see aniko know deep down inside kevin messed up 
but she's not saying anything about it because at that time she was pregnant and she needed to give birth to that paycheck but see this is what's going to end up happening and you heard it first on my channel is february 2nd 2018 kevin's gonna do it again Kevin has not stopped cheating. Kevin is a cheater. It don't matter who Kevin is with, Kevin is going to cheat. And until Kevin fixes himself, he's going to continue to cheat. And this has nothing to do with any of the women he's with. But he's going to cheat again. And then Nico's going to take him back. And then he may cheat again. And we may not find out about it. We may find out about it. And then when Aniko gets tired and she realized that paycheck ain't enough, then that's when she's going to leave with their son and she's going to get half of what he earned. And Kevin's just going to move on to the next person, continue to be funny, and cheat again. See, people like Kevin, they don't need to be in any relationship. They don't need to get married to any women because they will continue to cheat. And then Kevin's going to come out with a video saying how sorry he is and how he didn't mean to do it. And he'd rather just come and tell on himself before he let any other woman try to extort him out of all this money. Kevin, you are full of it. And right now, you got your ex-wife sitting out here trying to keep up with the lifestyle that you gave her. And she's doing all these appearances. And inside, she's not right. And you can see it in her Instagram post. She's not right. I saw her Instagram post where she released these balloons and she was saying, you know, giving herself these positive affirmations. And Tori, you can you continue to do that until you get over Kevin. But we know that Kevin hurt you. We get it. We get it. You're sitting up here. You're a beautiful black woman. And you're sitting up here wondering, wow, what did I do to make this man leave me and go get this light skinned chick now that he impregnated? It's hard being in uh, photos with him and you've got her sitting up here pregnant and she's standing next to him. And then you're the ex-wife and you guys sit here and pretend for the pictures and the camera that, oh, we're all one big happy family. Well, you know, deep down inside, you probably just want to punch Nico in the throat. Look, I know you had them thoughts. You're not going to say it and you're not going to admit it because if you did, people going to say, well, Tori, you really need to move on. Well, Tori, you're bitter. And see, this is what we do as women. We don't let other women process things because the second a woman tries to process something, we always want to come in and call her bitter. We love calling people bitter. We love saying, oh, he cheated yesterday. You need to get over it. Look, you never, ever really get over cheating. Once a man cheats on you, you lose respect for him and you lose trust. And it could take years. Hell, after 20 years, it still doesn't come back. So what y'all need to stop doing is telling Tori she's bitter and telling Tori she needs to get over it. That man broke her. That man really took her down. That man cheated on her and made her feel like dirt. And right now, she's out here trying to do everything in her willpower to get over it. And it's overdone. You can see it in her in her post, you know, that she's really trying her best to say, hey, I'm happy. Hey, I'm this. Hey, I'm better. Hey, I'm healed. And you can tell she's not healed. So, Tori, if you're listening to the video, you don't have to try so hard. Just go ahead and be yourself. Do all this self-affirmation stuff off Instagram. Um, just, you know, go on vacation. Really, really take some time to go to some counseling. And, hey, you may even take Kevin with you because I feel like even though he may be married to someone else, he still hurt you. Take his butt to counseling with you. And y'all go and y'all iron out all these things. And hopefully you'll feel better and you can move on. But, look, I understand. I feel you. I, I know why you got... Um, the tight dresses on and all that because you're you know that Kevin's gonna see these public pictures and think man you know what did I what did I mess up um, you know my ex-wife still looks good we do that as women I get it but until then um, this is Queen Aphelion saying stay safe and um, you guys continue to hang in there